hey everyone um first of all a big apology that because i did these set of nails um um over a month ago um and things have been really really busy so uh, i have failed to upload the video so uh, i'm just kind of like showing you there with a file um the kind of angle i want when i'm applying my form so i'm wanting it just holding the file like along the bottom line that i want so I get an idea um, that I've applied the form correctly. And as you can see, there's my other hand, which has not been filed. Um, I must apologize, like you can see, like one of my cuticles is mangled. I was sent a new cuticle pusher to try and oh my God, it was horrendous. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just pushed back my cuticles. And you know when sometimes you're pushing back your cuticles and you slip and yeah, um, it sliced me on um, three different fingers. So that went in the bin and I'm never using it again because it's horrendous. Um, yes, so, um, yeah, so sorry it's taken me so long to get this voiceover done. I will also say that I've got a bit of a throat at the moment, so I've got, like, a bit of a sexy huskiness to me, but I also lose my voice quite quickly, so apologies there, too. Um, so, what I've done is, like, obviously, how I usually do, I've filed off my previous set down to a really thin, clear base. I've applied my, uh, applied, I've, um, put my forms on, and now I'm starting by just making a thin, clear base using CJP crystal glass. I'm using my Glitter Fairy Round 10 brush for application here. I'm trying a slightly different shape here today. So it's it's kind of from one angle it's a bit of a tapered square but it's got more of the structural shape um, kind of like closer to a stiletto. So a tapered square letto I guess. Um, it's not really any particular shape. I'm just having a play around. Um, I am then using Carpe Diem, which is a glam and glitz acrylic, and this is one of the glow powders. Um, annoyingly enough, since doing this video, I've actually kind of nailed my glam and glitz application, just as I'm going on medical leave and not doing nails for another three months. Ugh. Um, so yeah, so this application is still in that messy, I'm struggling and look like a complete fool when applying, so I apologise for that. So I'm starting with a bit of this um, Carpe Diem kind of at the cuticle and blending down. I love this colour. This is a this is a me colour in every way, shape and form. I cannot get enough of it. It's that lovely kind of like minty, greeny. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're coming in with some of the Glitter Fairies Mirror Shards in Rainbow. So I'm just doing them kind of slightly diagonally across. I'm going for quite um, crystal tips on some of these nails. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I'm coming in with that rainbow, and then I'm coming in with a bit of crystal multicut in mint, um, and then just kind of layering that a little lower and a bit over those uh, mirror shards. Oh, my finger with a mangled cuticle looks so sore. Yes, that looks awful. I'm so sorry you have to see that, but yeah, it's my hands. You're always going to be terrible on yourself. And again, I've thrown that tool out. Oh. It was horrendous. I almost cried when it happened because I'm a real pussy. So when I'm happy with the glitter I've applied, I'm then getting some of the holographic butterflies in mint. And I'm then just applying these kind of in a, um, like a little butterfly trail. So it depends what's easier for you. You can use like your wax pencil, your crystal katana, um, a wet brush, a dotting tool, whatever you find easiest to pick up. Um, like shapes like this I just use my wet brush to kind of pull them apart and then I'm doing it in a kind of S so I'm going across the nail with the glitter and then I'm kind of going back the other way so it'll be over the clear acrylic so I look like butterflies are just kind of like flying through the lovely clear acrylic sorry if it all of a sudden goes quiet because I've had to pause my voiceover because I'm having coughing fits <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of a wet acrylic and I'm just going over those butterflies just to let them kind of set in place a bit so that when I cap them they're not going to slide all over the place. I 
I was a right mess with my application when I did these nails. And as you may have seen at the beginning, the little fluffy leopard print, I was in my PJs. I think it was about six o'clock in the morning. I was kind of woken up and I was like, mm, I know what I'm gonna do with my nails today. And that's generally how it goes with me. I'll either be doing my nails at like 11 o'clock at night, just starting, or it'll be six in the morning. And I'm like, nope, can't sleep, gotta do my nails. And then I'm gonna cap this nail in crystal glass. So starting a little in front of the cuticle and then gently kind of pushing back. And then just pat, tap, pulling it down. Just thinking about um, the shape and structure I'm wanting. That now. Need a little bit more on the tip, raising it on, and then filing, not filing back, blending back. Hopefully, you find that my camera angles are a lot better. As I've said before, I've got a new tripod and set up, so hopefully, that it doesn't get so much in my way as I'm trying to work now. Moving on to the next nail, starting with my clear base again. You can see I've cleaned up my cuticles a bit, so what I've done is I've used my um, NSA Nail Pure Plus and um, really kind of scrubbed it where I'd cut myself uh, until it kind of stopped bleeding and made sure it was there nice and dry. And then I just used a bit of my NSI Polybond um, glue and just went over the cut. Um, the reason I use that glue is because it's a medical grade glue, so if you were to like fall over and crack your head open a lot of the time if you go to A&E they're just going to stick you back together because they can't stitch you in certain places and it is the exact same glue as like your NSI polybond so it's good if you have cut yourself um, that you can kind of cleanse and then just put a bit of glue over it because it just seals the cut so you're not going to get any like filings and stuff in there Next I'm using um, another Glam and Glitz colour and I can't remember what this is. And I'm currently sat in a hotel room far away from my um, nail desk. So I'm going to have to check when I'm back at home and I will make sure that it's in the product description. Product description, the video description. So again, this is before, I like about two days ago, I sat and had a little play. I was watching, who was I watching? On the Nails by Annabelle support group. I think it was Bethany doing an live feed. I can't remember, but she was swatching up. And um, I was watching how she was, um, like just her pickup and stuff. And I was like, hmm. So I went and I got my stuff while I was play while I was watching her. I was having a little play time with my acrylics. And um, yes, I was like, ah, okay. I think I've nailed my pickup now and my application. It was much better. So again, sorry, you're still watching the really pants version. Yeah. And then I'm just using my wet brush, so no acrylic, and I'm dabbing it into my lace glitter. And this is in Melusine, which is a lovely mint. Again, this is my color. A lovely minty green. So this is like a matte, um, glitter with loads of different cuts so when you lay it over a base color it does kind of look a bit lacy this is coming soon and um, I'm currently voicing over this video it's um, middle of January so I'm not sure when I'm gonna share this video and when this lace will be released. Um, there was a lace collection previously by the Glitter Fairy and I'm relaunching it, so it's it's changed a bit. Um, and I'm relaunching it because, as most of you know, I'm on medical leave uh, as of the 20-something of January, and it's currently the 20th. Um, 
and while I was on medical leave I people had requested while I was away to have some relaunches of old collections and the lace collection is one of those that's coming back so I thought I'd use it in a set of nails oh my cuticle looks horrendous it's really upsetting me to see it obviously if this was on a client well I'd be mortified if I'd cut a client but um Obviously after this, because I had cut myself, um, I threw away all the files and stuff and did my usual sanitize, sanitizing and barbiciding and everything of all my tools and things. That's prawn coming in with a bead of crystal glass and making sure all that nail is capped and clear. Anything down, doing as much as I can with my brush so that when I file, I'm just perfecting that shape. Just putting my pinching tool on a bit higher, tighter, smashing up that nail as well at the same time. Oh, clumsy oaf. So once that little finger started to set a bit, I then tightened that pinch, just so that the pinching tool actually connected with the entire length of that nail. So to make sure I still had that nice, um, shape down the entire length of the nail. Now I'm doing exactly the same on this nail, starting off with a thin clear base. And then I'm coming in again with that um, glam and get glam and gits glam and glitz um, carpe diem. With the cuticle blending down again. I have nailed my application now. <laughs> Don't watch this video. Um, <laughs> there are days, and I wonder if you guys have this too. There are days when your application, you're like, oh, I'm so on point today. Like, oh, this is great. And then there are other days where like I'm a bit ham fisted and I'm just like like especially on myself like and I'm like oh and I'm, I'm like dribbling into my cuticle and I, you know you apply a beautiful layer of colour and then you catch it and you're like for God's sake and this was one of those days. So I'm coming in again with that C once again just keep chasing it because I'm working too well. So I'm coming in again with those rainbow mirror shards. I'd put that pinching tool on a little too soon. I could tell because it was a little painful. I'm putting on those rainbow mirror shards. And then crystal multi cut in mint. And then I'm capping that entire nail in crystal glass because I had big plans for this nail. So I didn't need it to be too fancy underneath because I'm going to do a lot on top. So this is the first of three videos for this set of nails. 
Um, so this is kind of the application. I've shown you three fingers because that was the three designs I did and the rest are all pretty much the same on the other fingers. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Any questions, comments or requests just pop it all below and I will see you in the next video. All the links will be in the description below. So bye!